Can you tell me the discrepancy between the diagram on the tool and the cardboard sleeve it comes in? If so, after the video, leave me a comment. In a previous video, we explained why a three-point chain wear indicator is superior to that of a two-point indicator. Today we're going to look at the Park Tool CC4 with emphasis on placement, creation of tension, and measurement. We can see that the CC4 has three tips, a J-hook, a tension tip, and a gauge tip which is beveled. And that bevel allows for insertion up to 0.5% or 0.7 percent and we'll take talk about later when to replace your chain. You can either use the portion of the chain above or below the chain stay. But it is important to insert the J-hook into the between inner links of the chain, not the outer links where it's going to press against the outer plate. Put in your J-hook and then insert your tension tip and press with your thumb and forefinger as such to create tension. Now with your other hand you're going to reach across, press downward and see if the gauge tip engages and goes through the chain. This is a fairly new chain and we can see that it does not engage or go through the chain. Avoid placing any of the tips in the master link, but do measure several different areas on the chain to get a good feel as to whether there's any significant wear or not. So when should you replace your chain? For 10 speed or less, is suggested that you replace it when you reach the 0.75% mark. For 11 through 13, although the distance between the links is, are the same, the actual link uh, thickness is thinner, wears faster, and it suggests you change the chain at the 0.5% mark. For certain chains such as the SRAM, RAD, and EAGLE, check with the manufacturer. I must point out that some people suggest using a ruler or calipers to measure chain wear. I'm not sure the rear derailleur creates enough tension in the chain for an accurate measure, but we'll link to those videos at the end and let you take a look. I just find it easier to use the three-point chain wear indicator. If you have any questions, additions, please comment below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 speed, safe cycling.